Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my June empties, so everything that I finished in the month of June. And if you're wondering about this makeup look, it is going to be the next video on my channel, so just keep an eye out for that. Subscribe so you can see when it comes out. And let's get into it. I finished 21 products, pretty proud of myself. So I think I'm gonna start off with the Bath & Body Works slash body care products first. So one of these, well actually a few of these things are in my project pan for, or my project use it up for Bath & Body Works stuff. So the first thing is the Girl Power Strawberry Cupcake Candle. This thing, I like strawberry scents. The strawberry part of it was really good, but I don't like the cupcake scent to this. I'm just really glad to have it out of my collection. I think it's from 2017, let's see. Yeah, 2017. In case you're wondering, um, to find the date that things are made from Bath & Body Works, there is, there's the barcode number. Let's see if you can see that. There's the barcode number and then there's a second number up here. And the first letter of that is the year that it was made. So now things that were made in 2020 have a zero, but things that were made in the 2010s will have a different number. Um, so seven means 2017. So I'm just glad to get this used up and out of my collection. The next thing I have is the Champagne Toast Body Lotion. This was also in my project Use It Up. Um, this was just from last winter. Um, yeah, I really love this scent. It was awesome. It's so pretty. So glad that's used up. The next thing is a body scrub in Vanilla Bean Noel, the whipped confetti body scrub. I really hate this packaging. Like the foil comes off in the shower. It sucks but I really liked this product. It was like really gritty and it worked really well. It smelled awesome. I just hate that you can't get the last bit out unless you cut it, which I'm not gonna do. Um, but yeah, this was really good. And then another Vanilla Be Noel product that I finished was the Travel Size Fragrance Mist. And this is from, I think 2013 it says on here. So that's pretty old and it was starting to smell bad. So I'm just really glad that I finished it. I think it took me like three months to finish it, but I'm really glad that I finished it and maybe I'll buy a new one next year. And then I also finished a Mary Kay Satin Hands Shade Cream. It's just like a little small size. I use this at work all the time, so that was nice. And then I have five different pocket backs that I finished. Um, one is actually one that my mom finished. It was strawberry pound cake and she gave it to me to include in my empties. And then this one is actually from 2015. It is pomegranate. It's like mustache themed. Remember when mustaches were all the rage? Yeah, this is really freaking old. Um, and it's like watery, like the end of it got really watery. So I'm just glad that I finished it. Um, and then these two are from 2017. I must have gotten like a set of Christmas ones in 2017. I have cinnamon nutcracker pomegranate spice, which really just, oh, spruce, sorry. Which really just smelled like pomegranate. It was really cute. And then winter candy apple, which also got kind of mm, liquidy at the end. Wasn't very good. Um, and then I have peach mango, which is only from last year. And this smelled amazing. So those were really good and then i finished off two skincare products so the first is the mary Kay charcoal mask this stuff is great i used the last of this one on my back because i had some flare-ups so that was nice and then i have the mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover solid staple very good the next stuff is some hair stuff so i finished off the nioxin scalp recovery um, serum this did nothing for me Kind of sad that it didn't work at all, but um, yeah. The next thing is the Living Proof Perfect Day Nightcap Overnight Perfector. And this was a little travel size that came in, I think an Ulta set um, a few years back. My mom actually had it, she never used it, so I used it. This took a very long time to use, like six months or something, because you only need a very small amount, and I really liked it. So I do have quite a few more like overnight um, leave-in conditioners, so I won't be needing a new one, but this was really good. So the next thing that I finished is the Eczema Honey Scalp Oil Treatment. So this actually was really, really good. Um, I have, I think I have, my dermatologist just said it was flakes, but it's not flakes. Um, sorry, bad dermatitis, I don't know how you say it. Um, but basically it's like eczema on my scalp. I have flakes that come out and it's like really, really itchy and it like hurts a lot. 
So I got this to hopefully help that and it really did. It pretty much got rid of me having um, plaques, which are like flakes, but they're they're thick and they don't just like fall out of your head. You have to like get them out kind of. Um, so I would usually pick at those and that's what made everything so itchy. But this definitely got rid of the plaques, but it didn't get rid of the itchiness. So I think I am still gonna repurchase it just because um, I know that it worked for the flakes at least. Um, I did get the psoriasis honey oil. Um, so I wanted to try this first, but it's not doing as much for me as the eczema honey one did. So I think I am going to repurchase this. Next, I actually finished some makeup items, which is weird because I did not use makeup that much last month, but um, two are chapsticks. So this is just the EOS. I think this was a peppermint. I can't even see it. It's like the swirly one. Um, this was in my drawer every morning when I brush my teeth, I would put this on, so. And then I also finished the stick, the chapstick stick. I think this was watermelon, it smells really good. And this was just in my bag at work, so finished that up. The next thing is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I had it in the color three. Um, I didn't really like this that much because it didn't give me much hold, but it did give me a good like color shade to my eyebrows, so. Yeah. The next thing I finished is the No Problem Priming Water, which is like just a little sample size. I think I got this in an Ipsy, and I really liked this. It was kind of like a good oil to go on as a base um, on my face and make sure my skin stayed hydrated, so I did like it a lot. The next two things are mascaras. So I have the Mary Kay Lash Primer, and I didn't actually know if this was bad or not, but it started to turn pink, so I don't want to use that anymore. <laughs> so I determined that it is bad now or expired I guess um, but yeah this is just the lash primer I do like it um, I don't know if I'll repurchase because it kind of just seems like an unnecessary step right now um, so and then I have the Stila huge extreme Lash lash mascara this it's just a little travel size I got an ipsy I did not like this it made my lashes a little too clump clumpy for my liking so yeah I did not like this but yeah, that was everything that I used up for the month of June. Um, if you saw anything in there that you liked or um, anything that you're working on for the month of July, I know in July I want to get through some candles because I went a little crazy during the semi-annual sale and bought a lot of candles. I bought six full size and three little minis, so went a little crazy. I'm going to try and finish off my like spring summer scents this month, so Wish me luck, because I'm going to need it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.